Okay, folks, here we go. We're going to take a magic tunnel ride to the Caldecott Tunnel, East Bay Hills, of, outside of San Francisco. Coming into the longest tunnel in California right now. This is the Caldecott Tunnel as it looked for 30 years, from about 1964 to about 1994. Here you are driving into it, one of the last times you're going to see it with this blank facade up there. Because Paintcraft Associates got into this as an act of urban improvement and we made this thing better. This tunnel, longest in California, 3,771 feet long. The old tunnel was built, which is off to your left there, you can barely see it, built in 1936. This tunnel built in 1964. Site for many graffiti attacks, etc., etc., as you can see. This is the old tunnel. It's a new tunnel, the one we're going to work on. Pretty dull, huh? The old tunnel design is one of these WPA projects. They called it uh, neoclassical forms with streamlined modern detailing. Really is a beautiful structure. It's been cleaned since we did these, uh, this video. There's the one we're going to work on right there. A little road down to it. Rumble, rumble. The new bore, Caldecott Tunnel. The structure above it, about to be attacked by Paintcraft Associates. About 110,000 cars a day go through this tunnel. 12,000 an hour at its peak. Here we are setting up our scaffold. Rolling stage. Getting ready to start work on this thing. I spent about six months going through Caltrans bureaucratic sort of things, getting uh, all the permits, permissions. And we're all standing around, raring to go now, waiting for this scaffold to get set up. I'm going to start with the pressure washing the first day. This project took 10 days total. Hear the roar of that freeway? It goes 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and it roars. There's our little TSP set up. The Caldecott Tunnel was named after Thomas Caldecott, who was an Alameda County supervisor back in the 30s. This detailing on this old building is just really special. If you're ever up above the tunnel, you should stop and take a look at it. Very well built, very nicely designed. These light fixtures sort of are part of the inspiration for this project. These things are cast aluminum solid. There's a bunch of them on the old tunnel. If you go up and stand next to one, it's like standing next to a Tibetan temple. They're absolutely beautiful. Built in 36, they'll last forever. These are poured cast aluminum. We kept looking at them as sort of bringing us back to what we were trying to do. Nice long view of them. This is a, the structure above the exit of the old uh, tunnel. And these light fixtures, nobody ever sees them, but they're there. And they're about 14, 15 feet tall. The man next to them is dwarfed. Absolutely beautiful. Worth taking the time. See Fish Ranch Road down there. Come on off that someday and come up and look at them. 
these oct octagons on the old tunnel. We didn't exactly recreate them because they were just too detailed in our for our design. But they also are, are quite unique. The old building is really beautiful on both sides. Listen to those cars roaring through there. 12,000 an hour. There's our light fixture. Here we go, pressure washing. Got our man Dave out there. Pressure washer, TSP. You'll see in a minute, we actually wound up taking quite a bit of the paint off. We wanted to get it nice and clean because when we put our uh, paint on for the mural, we want it to last. We want it to be there 10 years, 20 years. That's dirt and paint coming off of there. There's the old tunnel, an Oakland landmark, registered. There's the new bore that we're working on now. You start to see the paint coming off with the pressure washers. Here we've got a bunch of paint coming off. I had to clean all that up every day, sweep it up, get it out of there. Freeway roaring. This freeway, you can't believe, it's like an artery full of these uh, 4,000 pound carp corpuscles, carpuscles, I'll call them. Here we are now putting the, uh, the first coat on, kind of a base coat where we painted the entire structure with a background color that we wanted to have up there. This would be like our second day. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it was, it was, I mean, the top line, I, I made a more point, I was thinking it was better with the top space is less, and our stripes don't stop. Our stripes can continue all the way to the top. So our stripes won't enter. I think you can make that top one go up even higher. Just finished laying out the first draft of the design on the wall. We were working from this picture. Now what we have is two guys coming in to recreate that design on the rest of the panels. And they got out there with their chalk lines and their tape measures. And spent a whole day chalking it out for the next group that was going to come through. These are our precision guys. They like to get it just right. Coming down now. The other side of that new tunnel. Our guy's spending the whole day there. Look at that. He's got the level out. You betcha. They got it just right. This tunnel goes 24 hours a day. That the traffic pours through there. And here they are getting the moving on down the line. There's our famous light fixtures, folks. Those things are one of a kind. Sometime go up there and admire them. Now we're getting to the point where we're going to fill in the chalk lines that just were drawn the day before. Watch this brush work. Doesn't that make your heart sing? Look at that. No tape, just a chalk line and a pretty brush and a great painter. There's a steady hand. It takes practice to brush like that, folks. And these guys came right down and filled in the big chalk line figures here. And at the end of their day, we started to have a design on the wall. That's looking sharp now, boy. Yeah. Now here we are coming through with our first basic design up on that wall. There it is. What a change. It's the old tunnel. The design we're emulating. And there's our new tunnel. With our basic rough design. Well here we are today at the site of the uh, latest art project of the uh, Caldecott Tunnel. And when James Benny first uh, approached me on this, I got pretty excited about it because I thought it was a great idea. Kind of Contra Costa County's answer to the rainbow on the Waldo Tunnel over in Marin County. That was our artist, Terry Peters. Now we're on one of our last days where we're now going to age this mural so that it looks like it's always been there. There it is, kind of fresh, unaged. And we're talking about what we're going to do, how we're going to shade it, how we're going to model it. And 
Oh, here we go. The guys from Channel 4 show up. They want to do a report on us. Good grief. There's Ray Mailhot, the superintendent of the tunnel. It is going to be a busy day. Now we're starting to slow traffic down, as you can see. There's all this activity up there. We're getting ready to mix some colors now. Mix some moss and fungi and algae type of things that we're going to put up there on the wall and make it look like it's always been there. You see the traffic now is slowing to a halt with the, uh, practically. We're just having a ton of fun. Get that color just right. These camera people get right in your face. And I'm trying to decide just how to shade that, especially around those stripes. Big crowd now. comes the master, Dave McCollum. He's getting it right. There's the touch. And that cameraman climbed all over the place to get his shots. Professional. Oh, here's the reporter for the Contra Costa Times, Robert. He's coming out. I'll write a story that's going to be on the first page. I'm going to flip that paper. On East Bay commuters who use the Caldecott Tunnel may have noticed something new that looks like something old. Well, it wasn't exactly designed to improve the commute, but as New Center Force John Kessler reports in tonight's 5 o'clock focus, designed to make the trip a little more pleasurable. I, mean, I was thinking in the white, a little bit of green, you know, for the algae mm -hmm. effect. We just wanted to make it uh, historically accurate. Let's put some of the lightest one in here and we'll put a little white. The dark color is, is, around them is to meant, to, to meant to divert your eye. James Benny has been traveling through the Caldecott Tunnel all his life. And as a painting contractor, he always thought this wall on the Orinda side of Tunnel 3, pictured here a couple of weeks ago, would make a perfect place for a mural. I had more of an artsy, craftsy, jazzy type design in mind. And then uh, I began to think that it'd be easier to sell something like this. That's because the buyer was Caltrans. We were a little worried about that, you know, going through the government agency and so on, but they have been so supportive. Part of the reason may be the cost. Benny, McCullough, and their friends are donating the paint and time. And the design helped, a replica of the housing for tunnels one and two built in 1937. Back then, this tunnel was a marvel in engineering. Workers had only dynamite and shovels to bore through the Oakland-Berkeley Hills. It was then, and still is, the longest tunnel in California. And most people don't realize that when they drive through the tunnel above them, there's a chamber that uh, pushes air in and, and pulls air, fresh air in and pushes the old air out. Unfortunately, Caldecott is probably best known for a deadly explosion in 1982. A bus and gasoline tanker collided, sending a huge fireball through the tunnel that killed seven people. We might take the circles out altogether. The circles are part of the, of the old design. A little bit of moss here. <laughs> Benny and company are putting on the final touches making the newly painted wall look old. Yeah, there you go. Eventually, people will probably not even notice what we've done here, and that's just fine. This paint craft project was partially inspired by a quote from uh, Alexis de Tocqueville's Democracy in America, where he gets into the uh, subject of self-interest, rightly understood. <laughs> 